Hey, what's up, guys? Growing the Hobby coming back to you guys with another awesome, hopefully awesome, hockey break. Been doing a heck of a lot of these awesome boxes. We're going to do another one today. My ultra corny and cheesy design here, GTH box. That's right, the Growing the Hobby box. It's basically a loose pack opening, but uh, with a little bit of fun and stuff. I grabbed some loose packs out of the box of like 200 or so hockey packs, 200 or so baseball packs I have, and I... I constantly add to that box, and I just kind of put these videos together. I have huge success sometimes with just absolutely the biggest pulls of my life in some of these boxes. Um, you guys seem to love it when I do these. I certainly do. I'm going to continue these. Let's see what we have today. Customary one touch I always throw in for myself, a 55-pointer. Hopefully we can use that. Pull out the stack of packs. All right. So... We've got a grand total of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine packs there, but we're not done. We got ten packs because we got this huge, couldn't fit in the box. Zenith box topper card. It's one of those dare to tear cards. Um, I'm gonna set that there. Let's show you what the pack lineup is though for the day. 2021 Series 1 hobby pack. Uh 2021 Synergy Hobby Pack. How about that? 1112 SP game used. 1415 SPX. 1718 CHL, that's a hobby. Everything's hobby pack, I believe, today, guys. 89 uh, Ice hobby pack. 1617 Ice, that's a huge, huge pack. 2021 Artifacts hobby pack. And last but not least, 1920 OPG Platinum hobby pack. So, some really good potential here, guys. I'm going to start with the box top or the Dare to Tear card if you're not familiar with these. You can keep the card intact or you can kind of cut or tear open the cord to get the mini cards inside you can get skunked with a crap cord inside or a really good card i've seen some really good ones pulled um i haven't had the best luck but we got a cam neely is going to be the oversized card and we're definitely going to kind of cut this like i said they say you can tear it and whatever but uh cutting it is definitely the easiest hopefully that's far enough down that we're in the pocket uh, and it is and let's hope for a little bit of luck Come on, buddy. There we go. It is... I don't think it's going to be autographed. No, but it's... Hey, Sarge. I'll take it. For the old PC, I like that. An Epics card there of Sarge. Sergey Gonchar. Unfortunately, he's in the uh, Sens uniform there. Uh, Post-Pens days. But, uh, heck yeah. Good uh, player. And actually a heck of a decent human being. I sure liked him as a Pens uh, player there and stuff. He was very approachable and a, a genuinely cool guy. To kind of talk to and stuff like that. Always willing to, to give you a minute of his time. All right, let's move on. Let's do let's do our CHL pack right off the bat. So 1718 CHL. Uh, if you're not familiar with this, we're believe it or not looking for Laffy. Let's do a Laffy hunt. We're gonna have two packs at least minimum of uh, the Laffy hunt here, flagship stuff. Hobby pack here, looking for the star rookies card. Um, you can find that in here. I mean, some other great rookies can be found in here as well. Uh, for sure, this is definitely a sort of underrated product. It's starting to go up now in price and value. Uh, some other huge rookies in here, and we'll see what we can get, though. So Anthony Salonitri, Marcus Phillips, uh, Nick Ch uh, Chazowski, Travis Barron, Nicholas Bodine, that's a good one, Glenn Gordon, uh, Cody McDonald. There we go. That's what I'm talking about is these type of cards. I'm not saying it's the biggest card, but that's what you're looking for in the Laffy, the store rookie there. Of uh, Reese Vitali is going to be our star rookie in that pack. Oliver Rodrigue, Jason Wilms, Jordan Hollett, and Samuel Dove McFalls. Finish us off in that pack. Next up, let's do the uh, flagship Laffy Hunt here. 2021 Series 1. It's a hobby pack, so looking for those hobby exclusives. Get a nice little high gloss of uh, Laffy would be awesome. Never pulled a high gloss in my life. But let's see what we have in this pack. We do have Young Guns. I don't think it looks like the Laffy, but uh, we'll see. Jared Spurgeon starts us off. Charlie Coyle. Connor Murphy. Oli uh, Ulevi. So there you go. That's uh, not a bad one in all honesty. There you go for the Vancouver Canucks. Boone Jenner, Ryan Suter, Charlie McAvoy, and Brandon Sod. Pittsburgh kid there. All right. Let's do, you know, really good packs left. Let's do the, uh, I guess, OPG Platinum. So hobby packs, it comes from a hobby box. You get 20 packs in a hobby box, uh, one guaranteed auto in each hobby box. So it's like a 1 in 20 chance roughly here of pulling the auto. I'd like to get a number parallel would be nice of a big rookie, though, too. That could be cool. 
And I see we got a Connor Hellbuck on the back. And let's see what we have in this pack. Other than a lot of shine. Ryan O'Reilly. Marquee rookie of Eric Brandstrom. And a retro rookie of Rasmus Sandin. And last but not least, that Connor Hellebuck. So nothing too crazy there. Um, some really, you know, we got some monster pack potentials here. I'm going to put those up there. I'm actually going to do the Synergy pack next. 2021 Synergy. Uh, what is this? Three cards per pack. I'm not a huge fan of Synergy, but I figured take a chance. Maybe we can get lucky and get some mammoth pull that, you know, I doubt it, but let's see. So we start with a Calvin uh, Turkoff. That is a red rookie there. I don't know what's behind there. Something numbered. But uh, there you go. It's going to be Mikey Anderson out of 349. I mean, it's a cool looking card. Just not a fan of synergy, though. Um, but, yeah, there you go. It kind of reminds me of the uh, Precious Metals there from uh, Fleer Showcase. Uh, and that may be one of the numbered out of five cards there. 37 to 349. And last but not least, Tyler Benson Roaring Twenties card there for the oil. So nothing too crazy, like I said, in that pack. Let's do our ice pack, our throwback ice pack from 0809. It's an ice hobby pack. See what we can get in here. We got a decoy in the middle. Sam Gagne starts us off. Alexei Kovalev behind there. We got a Jason Arnott. There's our kind of advertisement behind there. Milan Hayduk. And last but not least, Pavel Datsuk. So nothing really crazy doings in that pack. Let's do our artifacts. Let's do 2021. It's our last 2021 pack here of artifacts. Not a big fan of artifacts. Facts, but uh, you can get some good cards. Thick decoy in here, so no jersey card or anything like that. Let's hope for an auto or a you know, big rookie. Jonathan Taze, our head of the box, is going to be behind that Jonathan Taze. So I'll pull from the back for Joe Pavelski. In front of him is Nikita Gusev, second year card. And we might have a redemption. Eh, maybe not. I don't know. There's that decoy. I'm going to pull that out of the way. Let's see what this is. It is. No, it's not a redemption. Is that Stammer? No. It is Johnny T out of 399, and so it's a base parallel. I don't know if they call that the Ruby parallel or what, but uh, out of 399, Johnny Tavares. So nothing crazy doing in that pack there. Well, let's do our 1415 SPX four cards in this pack, unless you get like some huge hit. Looking for the Pasta Man, David Pasternak, Leon Dreisel. That's who we're wanting and looking for here. We do have, I think that's a thick card. Where's that decoy? No, it is a, it's an actual card. So we'll see what we have here coming up. So we got Claude Giroux starting us off. Ryan O'Reilly, I'm going to pull from the bottom. Drew Doughty. Mm, hey, there we go. Nice Wayne Gretzky. That's very nice. And our hit of this pack, it's goaltender. Looks like an Isles. No, it's an oil. Oh, hey. Look at that, Laurent Brassot, rookie auto jersey, and that is out of 399. You guys can see there. Actually, I have quite a few Laurent Brassant uh, autographs for some reason. He follows me around, but uh, you know I'll take it any day. That's nice. I almost thought for a second that was a nice throwback card when I saw the oil and just looked old school to me for some reason. I was like, oh, Grand Fury or something like that. But uh, very nice still. Heck yeah, auto jersey, Laurent Brassant. There you go for the oil. Two huge packs left to go. Let's hope for something huge. Uh, I'm going to do the game used, I guess. 11-12, SP game used. One auto or mem card guaranteed in this pack. Three cards in here. Probably going to be mem. But who knows? If I'm spoiling the bottom card, sorry guys, but uh, I just don't want to dig up a corner here. It's a Vander Kane. And you know, uh, no, you know what? Okay, so we got a big old decoy, but we also have what looks like a thick card in front of it. So probably a jersey. But who knows? Authentic Rookie starts us off, though, out of 699 Joe Colburn. There you go for the Leafs. I'll show you guys out of Vander Kane. It's right there. We got a decoy, like I said, and let's hope for an auto on this jersey card, which because I'm sure it's going to be... It's an Authentic Fabrics. Is it going to be... Hey, I'll take it. Look at that. That's still pretty cool. It's a Team Canada uh, jersey there. Shea Weber. That's actually pretty neat. I'll take that. Not bad. Really, really cool looking jersey swatch and stuff like that. No numbering or anything. Uh, gold. There you go. Not not bad. I'll take it. Pretty cool looking. The big pack. The, the by far the most expensive pack. 1617 ice. 
Austin Matthews, guys. If we pull you Austin Matthews, I warn you guys anytime I open 1670 Ice because I've never pulled this. If I get the uh, if we get the Ice Premieres out of 99 of Austin Matthews, cover your ears because, good Lord, I'm going to blow them out with a scream. Um, and we got a big old thick decoy, so that's a good sign because that gives us a shot. It's telling us we have no jersey cards or anything, so we have a real shot at a, um, a premieres, but I can tell you right off the bat, we're not getting that because you can see the card behind there since they're acetate behind this Louis Erickson. It's going to be a sub-zero card, but oh my gosh, is that, oh my gosh, ho, 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 guys, Carey Price, Nikolai Ehlers, Thick decoy that I'm going to leave in place because Austin freaking Matthews, Sub-Zero rookie card. I know it's not the premieres, but we got a freaking Austin freaking Matthews, Sub-Zero rookie card. I don't believe those are numbered or anything like that. But we did it. Hey, I'll, I'll take it. We got an Austin Matthews. That one's not going to break the sound barrier. If it was the ice premieres on 99, sure. But that's a heck of a pull still, guys. That is a good card. The Sub-Zero Austin Matthews rookie card. And I don't want to even, <coughs> excuse me, attempt to touch that or play with that anymore because I don't want to leave fingerprints on it with all that acetate and stuff. Um, I'm going to definitely sleeve that up or one-touch that here momentarily after the video. There you freaking go, guys, though. I'm not even going to recap all the other cards. We've got some decent cards in the break today, guys, but this is definitely the highlight of the break. Austin Matthews, Sub-Zero rookie card. We did it. I'll take that as an absolute victory. That's a good pull. A huge pull. Sweet. Yes, guys, this is why I love doing these loose pack breaks like this. I have such fun doing this, uh, and you know, I hope you guys are having a blast as much as me. I know that I'm the one that owns the cards and whatnot, but uh, you know, I hope you guys are sort of living vicariously through me and having a little bit of fun when I open these packs as well. Please do me a favor, like, subscribe, share, click that bell notification button to be notified of future videos. Lots more of them coming to you guys. As always, in the description below, you guys can find my email address, mailing address, and Instagram handle. Other than that, have a great day, a great night wherever you all are at, and we will see you next time.